Hello there guys, my name is Luke and welcome to non-league news flash number one of the 2017-18 season. I'm really excited to get this series going again, the series that gives you all of the updates from non-league in the National League, the National League North and the National League South. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the news from those leagues. Now I'm trying to hit 2,500 subscribers before the end of the year, so if you want to help me get there, it would mean a lot if you could click that subscribe button right now. It only takes a second and it would really help me out a lot. But anyway, without any further ado, let's get straight into the non-league news flash. So we're going to start off in the National League and with what in my opinion was the game of the day and that was Sutton United 2, Leighton Orient 0. 3,198 people were at Gander Green Lane to witness the early kickoff, the opening match of the non-league season and it ended 2-0 to Sutton. Goals from Jamie Collins and Dean Beckwith meant that the home fans would be going home happy. Leighton Orient newly relegated to non-league they would not be happy with that one. It's a harsh start to the non-league scene for them. On to the rest of the results. AFC filed new to the National League. This time they had been promoted rather than relegated. They drew 2 all with Boreham Wood. Another draw with Bromley nil, Eastley nil. Dagenham and Redbridge missed out in the playoffs last year. They got a 2-1 victory over Barrow. Goals from Corey Whiteley and new signing Michael Cheek ensured their victory. Oldershot Town went away to Halifax and won 2-0. Geisley drew 2 all at home to Ebbsfleet United. Dover made the long, long, long trip up to Hartlepool and their fans would come home happy after Jamie Allen's 29th minute winner ensured that they would take home all three points. Hartlepool, again, same as Leighton Orient, newly relegated from League 2. It's a bad start to their time in non-league. Maidstone United drew 1-0 with Maidenhead United. Solihull Moors versus Chester was postponed due to ground safety issues at Solihull. Torquay United drew 0-0 against Tranmere Rovers. Woking beat Gateshead 2-1, so a good start to Anthony Limbrick's campaign as manager of Woking. And the biggest crowd of the day in non-league was Wrexham versus Macclesfield. 6,118 people were at that game and the majority would go home unhappy as Wrexham lost 1-0 thanks to a goal from No Baba. Now the league table at this stage of the season is totally irrelevant but for those of you who do want to see it then here it is. Oldershot currently lead the way followed by Sutton United. Those two both got 2-0 victories so they both got the best goal difference hence they are at the top of the league but it is pointless at this stage of the season. Down at the bottom are the teams that they beat. Leighton Orient and Halifax prop up the table. Now moving on to the National League North and in my opinion the result of the day was Salford versus Darlington, two teams that I think will finish right up near the top come the end of the season and this one at a newly renovated Moor Lane ended 2-0 to Darlington. A goal in each half from David Ferguson ensured that Darlington would go home happy. Another big game was Kidderminster Harriers versus Chorley. I'm a Kidderminster Harriers fan and obviously this is not a good result for us. It's a repeat of the playoff semi-finals last year which we unfortunately lost to Chorley at home and this has been repeated exactly pretty much with a 1-0 victory for Chorley thanks to an own goal from Tyrone Williams in the 78th minute. I'm disappointed with this but there is still a long way to go this season nothing is confirmed at all in terms of league position right now the first game of the season we've got a lot of new players so they're still gelling together and there's still a long way to go in this season that's for sure as for the rest of the results Alfreton beat Blythe Spartans 2-0 Brackley beat FC United Manchester 2-1 Curzon Ashton beat North Ferriby United 4-0 an impressive result that against a newly relegated side although I do think North Ferriby will seriously struggle this season Leamington, a good start for their campaign in the National League North. They went away to Gainsborough Trinity and won 2-1. Harrogate Town beat Nuneaton Town 4-0. Southport beat Boston United 4-0 as well. And Spennymore Town made a big statement with a 1-0 victory over Stockport County. Bradford Park Avenue went away to Tamworth and got a 97th minute victory through Adam Boys. What a crucial goal that is for them. Finally, York City lost 1-0 at home to AFC Telford. Matthew Barnes home with the goal and it's awful for York. Not made a good start to life in the National League North, that is for sure. Here is the National League North table. Doesn't mean a huge amount, but here it is anyway. Southport on top, followed by Harrogate and Curzon National. Those have a goal difference of plus four, hence they are the top three. The teams that they beat are down at the bottom, Boston, Leeds and North Ferriby. 
And finally, onto the National League South, and in my opinion, the result of the day was the one right at the top there. Bognor Regis Town 3, Bath City 2. Bognor Regis lost their manager from last season. At the end of the season, Jamie Howell, he went to Eastbourne and they appointed one of their players as manager who then resigned just a few weeks before the start of the season. So they've had to sort of scramble to get ready for the start of the new season and they've managed to do a really good job. Chelsea City, who I think will win the league, got a 2-0 victory over Noose, the National League South Gloucester City after they got transferred there from the National League North last season. Chippenham Town drew 0-0 with Haven and Waterlooville and Dartford drew 0-0 with Hungerford Town. Another draw was one all between East Thurrock United and Hampton and Richmond Borough. Then Braintree Town went away to Eastbourne Borough and won 3-2. Braintree in a little bit of trouble right now with their stadium. The council are planning on renovating some ground just around the stadium and what it will mean is that the club are no longer going to be able to play at Cressing Road if these plans go through. So there's a petition, which I'll leave in the description. Go and sign that petition if you want to see some justice for Braintree Town and for them to keep their ground at Crescent Road. Hemel Hempstead beat Whitehawk 3-0. St Albans City went away to Oxford City and got an impressive 3-2 victory. Truro City also a 3-2 victory against Welling United. Wealdstone beat Concord Rangers 2-1 and finally Paul Town beat Western Supermare 2-1. The National League South table again irrelevant at this point of the season but here it is anyway Hemel Hempstead are top of the table followed by Chelmsford and Braintree down at the bottom are Concord in 20th Gloucester in 21st and Whitehawk in 22nd so there you have it that is it for this non-league news flash if you've enjoyed it then please hit that like button and subscribe it means a lot to me and really helps my channel out and also let me know what do you think is the biggest result of the day and how did your team get on but anyway Thanks for watching.